You're watching Hegarai TV, Rhode Island's public access channel. Hello, my name is Selena. This is Bible Tea Time for Children. The Holy Scripture. Welcome to Bible Tea Time for Children. I am going to read Moses and the Ten Commandments. Long ago, a man named Moses lived in the land of Egypt. God cared for Moses and protected him from the time that he was a little baby. God has a special job for Moses to do. God's people, the Israelites, worked and worked in the hot sun as slaves in Egypt. Their work was never done, and their masters were cruel. So God chose Moses to lead his people to the promised land. God parted the Red Sea. And Moses and the Israelites walked through the sea on dry land. God saved them. Moses and all the people praised God. But God's people hadn't made it to the promised land yet. God cared for his people as they wandered in the desert to the promised land. It was far away and the Israelites were hungry, so God gave them food and drink and all they needed. The Israelites knew that God would continue to care for them, even in the wilderness, but they needed to learn how God wanted to them to love him and care for each other. Soon they be came to a big mountain called Mount Sinai. God came down to the top of the mountain in fire wrapping Mount Sinai in a cloud of smoke. Lightning flashed and trumpets blared louder and louder. The whole mountain shook and the people were frightened. Moses, God's messenger, would help the people know God. The mountain was trembling, lightning was flashing, and thunder was crashing. But Moses went to the top of the mountain to talk with God. Every, God spoke to Moses in the thunder. God wanted everyone to know his laws, so he gave Moses the, these commandments on two stone tablets to take down to the people. First, the commandments told how people should love God. God said we should worship and serve him alone and make no false gods. God also said we should not curse or lie using his name, but that we should honor and love him more than anything or anyone else. And God said to remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. God also taught about families. Each child must honor his father and mother, and husbands and wives should love and be faithful to each other. God said that it is wrong to murder, and that we should not take things that belong to others. God commanded that we do not lie about other people. He also said we should not covet or want things that belong to other people. 
Moses came down from the mountain and told the people what God had said. He reminded them that they were already God's people. He told them God's laws and how to love God and serve each other. Moses was a great prophet, helping the people know God in his commandments. And God continued to love and care for his people as they traveled to the promised land and beyond. Now, I am going to ask the questions. Moses led which group of people out of Egypt? Philistines or Israelites? What was that? Yes, Israelites. Moses parted which body of water? Chivali or Red Sea? What was the name of that? What was that? Yes, it was the Red Sea. Who was Pharaoh? Joseph's brother or king of Egypt? What was that? Yes, king of Egypt. God proclaimed his Ten Commandments from which mountain? Mount Sinai or Mount Olympus? What was that? Yes, Mount Sinai. And what did God write his commandments for Moses? Stone tablets or paper scrolls? What was that? Yes, yeah, stone tablets. Moses carried how many stone tablets? One or two? Mm -hmm. Yes, two. On what day did God rest? First or seventh? What was that? Yes, yeah, seventh. What is the seventh day called? The day when no works be done. Sabbath or prayer day? What was that? Yes, Sabbath. What is the first commandment? Worship only one true God, or do not lie about other people. What's that? Yes, worship only one true God. Who commanded us to honor our mother and our father? God or Adam? Yes, God. Which commandment says not to steal? Eighth or fourth? What was that? Yes, eighth. Now here's a Bible verse. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. Another Bible verse is, listen to advice and accept instruction, and in the end you will be wise. That's Proverbs 19.20. Now, another Bible verse that is in Psalms. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God.
Here's my little decoration here. We're going to start with Moses as a baby. And here is my little baby doll I always play with. And here's a book about it. Now this book is for children, so it's very easy to read for children because it makes the Bible fun. The story of baby Moses. Alice liked to read a lot. It always made her glad to read a Bible story from a picture book she had. One day, she sat down by a stream, and the story that she read was about a baby Moses in a tiny basket bed. The tiny basket bed I have right there on my doll. As Alice sat there studying each picture in each word, she got this little message from her friend, the Amy bird. Reading is the special key to take you where you want to be. The book that Alice had became a great big giant screen. She walked on through to Bible land and came upon the scene. She saw Israelites in Egypt. They were happy living there. As years went by, the families grew. They had good things to share. But all this changed when one sad day, a new king took the throne. He was the meanest vow the Israelites have ever known. He saw the peaceful Israelites living on his land and feared they'd turn against him. So this is what he planned. He made the slave and them slave and build for him. He worked in them day and night, but still the Pharaoh was afraid of every Israelite. The wicked Pharaoh made a law to drown each newborn son of every Israelite family, and this dreadful deed was done. One mother kept in hiding a sturdy baby boy. The family loved him dearly, and he filled their hearts with joy. For three long months, she kept him hidden from the soldiers' view, but she feared that the Pharaoh's soldiers would take her baby too. So the mother wove a basket, and she sealed it like a boat. Then she brought it to the river to check that it would float. She put it by the riverside between tall grass to hide it. Then she rocked her baby boy to sleep and put him down inside it. The river gently rocked it. Up and down the basket went. And safe inside the basket, the baby was content. The baby sister hid nearby, behind tall grass to see what would happen to her brother, who was as dear as he could be. The daughter of the pharaoh and her maid stopped by that day. They came down to the river to take a bath and play. The pharaoh's daughter looked around, and by the riverside, she saw the little basket where the baby slept inside. Her maids brought her the basket with the baby Israelite. The pharaoh's daughter touched him, and she held her finger tight. The fowl's daughter pitied him when he began to cry. She held him and she rocked him and sang this lullaby. Hush, dear baby Israelite. Hush, dear little one. I'll save you and take care of you as if you were my son. Then the baby's sister came out of hiding too. Then said, I know a nursemaid who can be help of you. The fowl's daughter answered her, I'd like that very much. This baby boy should have a nurse who has a tender touch. The baby's sister ran back home with news about her brother, and the nursemaid she returned with was the baby's own boy's own brother. Daughter of the Pharaoh gladly hired her and said, I found this little baby in this tiny basket bed. I want you to take care of him, and when your work is done, I'll take him back and raise him. I'll treat him as my son. So the mother took the basket, and her heart was filled with joy. So she was glad to act 
as nursemaid to her precious baby boy. When the boy was old enough, his mother took him to the daughter of the pharaoh as she'd been told to do. This boy will be my own son now, explained the pharaoh's daughter, and I think I'll call him Moses, for I took him from the water. I was left Bible land, walked through her great big screen. As she did, she thought about the baby she had seen. She knew that saving Moses was part of God's great plan, for Moses became a prophet and a very holy man. Moses led God's chosen people. He taught them all God's ways. Moses brought the Ten Commandments. Alice follows every day. Now we're going to go to the bush and the lamb. Here is my little lamb here. All girls like bulls. And this is a girl. And this is a bush. With lights in it. This is the burning bush. And this is Moses' lamb. The way Moses found the lamb was the lamb got lost and went near the bush and got lost. And then Moses walked to the, where the lamb was and then he saw this, this like a, a burning bush. He wondered why it was burning, but the leaves weren't burning. Then, God said to Moses, Take your sandals off, for where you're stepping is holy ground. And then, he be this is when he was a shepherd. So now he's a prophet. And he's a prophet. And he, God gave him these commandments. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet. Now, thou shalt not have other gods before me is the first commandment. The second commandment is, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. The third commandment is, Thou shalt not take thy name of the Lord thy God in vain. The fourth is, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The fifth is, Honor thy father and thy mother. The sixth is, Thou shalt not kill. The seventh is, Thou shalt not commit adultery. The eighth is, is thou shalt not steal. The ninth is thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And the tenth is thou shalt not covet. These are all the commandments. Music, please. So I led you straight out of slavery, gave you soft sand to walk upon. I parted the waters of the Red Red Sea Kept you safe till those Egyptians were gone And now I'm glad you're happy But here's a helpful hint I know you like being free So don't you forget to read my fine, fine print This is what you're gonna Don't you carve 
me in stone because the images you make would be frauds. Don't go taking my name in vain. It's nasty and you know it isn't right. Take a break every seventh day. Nobody works all morning, noon, and night. Respect. Don't be sassy to your mom and your dad. And six. Killing people's incorrect. And it's really, 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 really bad. And seven. When you make a marriage vow, you should never ever cheat upon your spouse. And eight. Here's something else I won't allow. You will not take stuff from someone else's house or from their car. Command you. Command you. Or from their bag. Into these habits right now. Or anywhere. Command you. Command you. Also don't kidnap them. When God told Moses his rules, what was the weather like on Mount Sinai? Sunny or stormy? The answer is stormy. And what did God write his commandments for Moses? Stone tablets or paper scrolls? The answer is stone tablets. Moses carried how many stone tablets? One or two? The answer is two. The staff right here Moses used a lot. It was used for opening a rock for water. It was used to turn into a snake. It was used to put the waters in half so the people could walk across. It was even used to do plagues. See you next time on Bible Tea Time for Children.